Well, Georgia, welcome to the Blaze. Welcome to Trent Bridge. What's uh, what's inspired the move to the Blaze this year? Um, I've been looking quite fondly at what the, the Blaze have been doing and uh, building over the last few years, and it felt like the right time in my personal and professional life to have a new challenge. Um, I've been living in Wolverhampton and commuting down to Southampton and that's taken its toll really. So a shorter commute definitely will help, um, but also looking forward to, to a new and a fresh challenge and at this stage of my career something that hopefully will keep the, the passion and the spark going um, over the next couple of years. And a, a homecoming of sorts, I guess you were with Loughborough Lightning until about five years or so ago. It, are there any familiar faces still around? Lots, lots of familiar faces. And, you know, that was another part of the reason which attracted me here. Um, I've worked a lot with some of the staff behind the scenes, but also um, a really good mate of mine, Kirsty Gordon, is the captain. So that was a big pull. And some of the girls as well I've, I've played with or against for a number of years. And um, I've always had good relationships with. I'm really looking forward to building new relationships as well with other girls. And I think, you know, at, at this stage of my career, keeping things fresh and exciting and, and coming into something where there's a new challenge um, is something I'm really looking forward to uh, with a few familiar faces that should uh, help me settle in. Yeah, and of course, this, this wasn't the base for the team uh, last time you were up in the East Midlands. What have you made in these early few days of, of Trent Bridge as a base? Uh, amazing. Brilliant facility. Somewhere I haven't played a huge amount of cricket until the last few years with the 100. Um, I've actually just been down into West Bridgeford for a nice coffee, so I'm going to definitely enjoy that side of it in terms of its location. But the facilities here are brilliant. Um, really looking forward to getting stuck in and, uh, and getting working with the girls. Yeah, and yeah, you have had those experiences on the field, I guess, mainly in the 100. As a as a ground to play at, how has it, how has it been? Amazing, amazing atmosphere. The fans here are always really loud and, and cheer. And I think one of the things I, l I like about Trent Bridge is the history of it and, and the quirks of, you know, the dimensions of the ground and um, having to work out how to play your game depending on um, which pitch you're on. So, so a, a ground that's got a huge amount of history, um, cricket lovers ground. I know that it always attracts uh, a lot of attention for international matches and hopefully we can do the same for, for women's matches here. Yeah, now you've um, you've come up against the Blaze quite a few times in the last couple of years, notably in some finals in, in 2023, <laughs> where we won't, won't touch on the results. Too much, but um, what what has characterised the Blaze for you when you've you've come up against them as opposition in those last couple of years? I think a team that is really willing to push the boundaries, um, grow the game, evolve the game. I think we've seen a huge um, upward trajectory in the women's game over the last three or four years, and I think the Blaze have always been at the forefront of that and pushing the game forward. Um, I like their philosophy, I like the way that they go about their cricket, and the fact that they've made so many finals in such a short space of time shows that you know they've got the the desire, uh, the ambition to to be the best and to keep pushing forward. And I think there's a there's definitely a space for me within that to bring a bit of that senior pro role within the squad um, but also I think for me as well to keep me accountable and keep challenging my game and pushing me forward.